This video got a lot of attention because it asked the question, why did this basement flood? Why is this basement flooded? You see they got a few inches of water in here. Oh, and there is a sump pump. Okay. Oh, it's got an old copper discharge. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's unplugging the float switch and plugging the pump directly in. And uh, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so that's that's gonna be the float switch. The float switch has definitely gotten stuck in that dirty basin with no lid. Yeah, there's a lot of crap in there. Yeah, okay. That's pretty obvious. The the sump pump definitely stopped working because the float switch is was stuck. That's why having a sump basin is so important with a lid to keep any debris from falling into it. Yeah, that is an old pump. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty old. A little bit of iron buildup on it. Oh, <laughs> DeWalt, stick to making tools. <laughs> DeWalt sump pump, come on. So how are we transitioning there? Oh, it's an adapter. Okay, so we got an inch and a half or two inch going down to inch and a half there, one of the two. And we got Fred Union there with a lot of pipe. This guy likes his pipe dope. I mean, if it works. So he went to Home Depot and bought that sump pump. See, I wouldn't do that. And there it goes. Fantastic. Yep. I would get a lid on that basin ASAP. A new basin is going to do a lot for this house. Having a, uh, or at least having a lid on it to stop any debris from getting in there. Because no matter how new or awesome or DeWalt or Milwaukee brand your pump is, uh, if there's something that can stop the float switch from working, it's going to flood out.